The Properties of Materials Kit allows students to investigate essential skills for conducting a laboratory experiment, along with learning about density, specific heat, specific gravity, buoyancy, and real-life applications of these concepts. The kit includes an equal volume set and an equal mass set of aluminum, steel, and copper. It has a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, a 2.5 newton or 250 gram spring scale, and the stainless steel caliper. The included activity guide walks students through all the different experiments as well as the relevant background information they need and more importantly connections to real world applications. The first activity is designed to get students familiar with the tools for measurement that are included in this kit. The first one is the vernier caliper. So when they are trying to find the dimensions of an object, they should not just take a measurement in one location, they should take it at various locations and not just rely on one measurement to be the exact value for that particular dimension. Also, the ability to read a vernier caliper itself is a very useful skill. If you wish to use the graduated cylinder to measure the volume of the masses, making sure the students know how to read these increments correctly is an important skill. Now that the students have a better appreciation of the tools and the precision in which they can take data from, now they can move into the actual density activity. I just used a support stand to hold the spring scale up. I put a small piece of tape at the bottom and then I can either zero out the spring scale or just remember what my starting mass is and then using the tape just have it hold the mass and you can very quickly and accurately get the mass of each of these cylinders. Determining the volume of the cylinders can be done either by the displacement method using the graduated cylinder or using the vernier caliper and the formula for the volume of the cylinder. I would actually prefer, and I had my students do this when I taught, to have them do both methods so they can see the advantages and disadvantages of both techniques in the lab. Although all the cylinders that are included are metal, it is still a good activity for students to investigate buoyancy. Even though these are all metal and they sink, you will be able to measure a buoyant force on them. For this, all I did was connect a spring scale to a stand, and I taped a string to the mass. You have to make sure the string is long enough so that when you submerge this in the cylinder, this goes completely under the liquid. Before we submerge this steel cylinder in water, this is our current weight of the object in air. So now I'm just going to place this in the cylinder. Make sure that's all underwater. But the force on the steel cylinder is much less now because the water is exerting a buoyant force. It's just not enough to make it float. Since all the cylinders are metal, you can conduct an investigation into the specific heat of different types of metal. One thing you don't want to do, however, is that you do not want to use the ones that are of equal volume. Okay, you want to use the ones that are equal mass, and that's what I have in this beaker of hot water. I'm just using a, a tea light candle that I took the wick out of to act as my wax. And then these have been in here for about a minute, and the trick is can get them all setting up on the wax give it a little bit of a cut. I let these sit in there for about 45 seconds to a minute and when you take them out you can clearly see how they all sunk to a different depth within the wax even though they're the masses are all the same and they're all heated to the same temperature by staying in the water the same amount of time so you can use this as an introduction into specific heat. The Properties of Material Kit shows you how just a few really good specimens can be used in a wide variety of experiments. Everything from using scientific tools in the classroom 
to density, specific gravity, specific heat, buoyancy, and using these as a springboard to discuss real life applications. The manual includes challenges for each activity so students can investigate how the concepts they just covered in the classroom have real world applications for scientists and engineers.